and this time he had a knife in his hand and it was raised over his head. Nurse Elise Wilson stabbed 11 times in a Massachusetts ER. She lost so much blood, she flatlined for a while. Her attacker was an unstable patient who sneaked in a kitchen knife. We are not police officers. We are totally unprotected. Our investigation exposed showed an increase in violence against nurses, one of the professions with the highest rates of assaults on the job. We just got these new numbers from the Bureau of Labor Statistics for 2017, and they show that violent injuries against nurses and healthcare workers are up again last year, now at their highest levels since 2011. Nurses reported more than 2,600 injuries due to violence. The rate of violence jumped from 7.8 to 8.8 per 10,000 nurses. Injuries from violence were up across all occupations, though homicides on the job dropped last year. Debbie Berkowitz studies workplace safety for the National Employment Law Project. She says hospitals are failing to keep their employees safe. I think what's important is it tells you that the industry is not putting into place preventive measures. The American Hospital Association disputes that. It launched a Hospitals Against Violence initiative. It helps hospitals with preparedness drills, de-escalation training, and other initiatives. But there is no federal law making the healthcare industry deal with violence. OSHA stopped work on a new regulation that could have required hospitals to come up with anti-violence plans. Look for where the risk factors are. Are people working alone? Do you need a panic button? Are there, you know, training that workers need to get when they're working in psychiatric wards? What are the warning signs? And OSHA documents we obtained this fall showed the agency stopped random inspections for potential violence issues in healthcare facilities. The agency said it wasn't finding enough problems to justify the spot checks. But data we got through the Freedom of Information Act showed OSHA found violations in 67 out of 81 surprise inspections. We asked the agency about the new numbers showing a rise in violence against healthcare workers. A spokesman referred us to an earlier statement that said OSHA is fully committed to the health and safety of the American workforce, including preventing workplace violence. OSHA inspectors are trained to identify workplace violence in the course of performing inspections. Employers can face civil monetary penalties for noncompliance. And for now, OSHA's plan to consider workplace violence rules for hospitals remains on the shelf.